Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use reports to further calculate and then display the results from a query. You can also use them to calculate statistical results on tables or queries for summary reports. They are simply a more concise and certainly more printer-friendly way of presenting the data you have calculated in your queries to anyone who needs to view this information. Reports use fields like forms do, and the report design view shares much in common with the form design view. However, reports typically have a query as their data source versus a table. A simple way to create a basic report is to use the report wizard. You can start the report wizard by clicking the report wizard button in the reports button group on the create tab in the ribbon. That will launch the report wizard. Once the report wizard is launched, it will lead you through a step-by-step -step program that prompts you to respond to the questions that it poses. You simply enter the answers and make your desired selections in each screen and then click the next button to proceed to the next screen. When you are done answering all of the questions on each screen in the wizard, click the finish button in the final screen to create a basic report. In the first screen of the report wizard, you use the tables and queries dropdown to select the query or table that you want to use as the basis for your report. Then select which fields from the selected query or table to display in the report by selecting them from the available fields list and clicking the right pointing arrow button to move them to the selected fields list. You can also move all fields into the selected fields list by clicking the double right pointing arrow button instead. Click the next button after you've added all of the fields you want to display to the selected fields list. In the next screen you may need to select by which field or table you want to view the report results. Make your selection and then click the next button to continue. If you did not base your report on multiple tables or a query, this screen will not appear. In the next screen, select any fields by which you want to group the data in your report and click the right pointing arrow button to add the selected groups to the report. If you do add grouping, you can click the grouping options button to open another screen where you can select a grouping interval for any fields by which you grouped the report. Then click the OK button to close this screen. Then click the next one to continue. In the next screen, select by which fields you want to sort the report data by using the drop-down menu available. Then click the button to the right of each field to toggle it to display the desired sort order, ascending, meaning A to Z or 1 to 9, or descending, meaning Z to A or 9 to 1. If you have a number or currency field available in your report, you can click the Summary Options button in this screen to launch the Summary Options dialog box. Here you can set any summary options for the available fields by checking the checkbox under the function you want performed on each field. To the right of that, select either the Detail and Summary or Summary Only Option button to select the type of report to create. You can also check the checkbox for Calculate Percent of Total for Sums if you want that option for your report summary. When you're done, click the OK button to close the Summary Options dialog box. Then click Next to continue. Next, select the desired report layout by choosing the option button that corresponds to the type of layout you want in the layout section. In the orientation section, click the option button that corresponds to the page orientation you want. You can also check the checkbox to adjust the field width so all fields fit on a page if you desire. Then click Next to continue. In the final screen, type a title for your report into the text box at the top of the screen. Then select to either preview the report or modify the report's design. To view the report data, select the first option and click the Finish button to create your new report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.